I can give to you how many you want. And I'm basically saying you know, that is a lie now because no, no, Ottoman compiled the parchment here. Because the parchment, no more parchment. He didn't read the Quran. The skin that was written on? He didn't think you know. There is no one who wrote the Quran. You, sorry to say, what you, what you say in, is not truth. What you say in, is not the truth. Who compiled the first Quran? Who compiled the first Quran? Yeah. Who compiled the first Quran? First. First, our Just give me a name of who compiled the, the first, first Quran. Quran. Wait, brother. No, you're wrong. The first who compiled. The first who compiled. The Muslim. The first who compiled. Listen, listen. Yeah. Go answer, listen. listen. The first, first who compiled the Quran is Allah Subhanahu wa Taala Himself. He you said, I, I was, wait, Allah was Subhanahu wa Taala. Wait, wait. Ma, wait, wait. Let me finish. Can you let me finish? No, Can you let me finish? Can you? Now, right Allah Subhanahu wa Taala said, Inna alayna jamaahu wa Qurana. He told to the Prophet Muhammad well, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, no worry about compiling, no worry about memorizing. We will, we will do that first one of the last one. So who compiled the first Our criteria, one? can you let me it finish? It was in Muhammad, can you let me finish? Can you let me finish? Can you let me finish? Why are you scared? 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 But Prophet Muhammad was not there, and he says God showed it to him. How do we know? Those who were there saw what happened, and we are told he had a revelation. Okay, speak to the Christian. Yes, yes. What you're saying is strictly him. How are you telling me? How are you telling me? Yes. Or them that yes. their book is lies. They say our book is lies. There you are. I never said it's lies. There you are. They say our book is lies. No, yeah. No, no. They yeah, say go on. That, bro, it's, it's one thing. Okay? Yes. It's both about God. Yeah. Uh -huh, the what Quran about? and the Bible is both about God. Yeah? I don't know about the Quran, I don't know about the Bible, I don't know My about brother, the Quran. My brother, it says the same the thing. About God. Okay. And it even meant, and the, the Bible mentions Muhammad. It mentions the prophet. The Bible people. never mentions Muhammad. Come on, man, ah, where did you get that from? It does. They're gonna come. It does. Where did they come from? Come. Yeah. The Holy Spirit. Are you yeah. telling me yeah. Muhammad is the Holy Spirit? No. Is Muhammad the Holy Spirit, the comforter to come? Is Muhammad the comforter to come? No, he's a prophet. Because the comforter is described. He's a prophet. Yeah. He's a prophet. If there was any last prophet, Jesus Christ is the last prophet. The, no other one after him. The only difference between any the Quran and the Bible is yes. that these, like, the Quran, they don't say Jesus is, is God. Do you, think, do you believe in the Trinity? Man? What about the Holy it? Trinity, do you believe it? What about it? Yes or no? I'm asking you, what about it? Yeah, I think that's true. You believe, you believe in the Trinity? Yeah. You believe in it? Yeah. But Muslims don't? I know. That's that's the difference. They yeah, but, but, but let me... No, wait, wait, wait. You see, well, you, you need to... to no, you have to be... Let me tell you something. You have to... You have to... to love, no, 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 you have to. You have to love them enough to tell them. So are you telling me, yeah. if you knew the truth that will help somebody, yeah. you keep it to yourself and you don't tell them the truth? No, we don't keep and you go, well, well, that's what they believe. Leave them alone. Are you no, telling no, no, me there's danger? For, you know someone is in danger and you won't tell them. It's not for us to tell. It, it is. We are right. supposed to preach the truth. We God, can't accept. No, we have to preach the truth. Listen, I love him. Well, I care about him. Same thing. I'm, I'm not. I'm okay, not disrespecting him. Die, where do you go? I care about him. Cool. And so I have to tell him the truth. I can't be like, well, it's okay. Believe what you believe, and I believe what I believe. Yeah. We can't. We cannot believe everything. No, but it's not. It's not for you. Not everything is true. He wants to he wants to believe the truth or not. Even no. if it is the truth, we don't he, know it's the truth. He came to speak to me, didn't he? Yeah. yeah. I'm starting to speak why. to me. So I'm engaging him, and I'm telling him why I. For example. Yeah. You haven't heard why I'm telling him this yeah. Quran is not true. You need to hear it. Okay, tell him. Tell him. Can I give you my perspective? Yeah, go on, you give me your perspective. I'm listening to you. My perspective is that the Quran, so the Torah, the Bible, and the Quran are like a, there are three parts of the same message, right? That's what I personally. Well, I, li I like that. You, you, you started. Listen to what he said. He said the three books are a part of the same message. But I say the same. No, no, wait, 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 wait. wait. Do you agree about what you said right now? The three books. The Torah, the Injil, yeah. and the Quran are three parts of the same message. Is that your point? Yes. Let's begin from there. Okay. And I want you to be sincere because I'm being sincere and I'm being honest. Okay. Now, any true Muslim will tell you that so far as they're concerned, the Torah is being corrupted and the Injil is being corrupted and the Quran is the truth. Do you, do you agree to that argument? Unfortunately, if we're going to use logic, then actually the Quran is the one that is not true. 
It's not only one that's been preserved, I would say, though. No, yeah, but watch it, watch it. Watch, watch it, watch it. Well, well, let's, use, let's use your argument. Okay. Preservation. For example, if the truth is missing and we preserve a lie, do we accept the lie as a truth? Can you repeat the question? No, I'm asking you, okay. If the truth is missing, like there was a truth that is missing, yeah, we can't find it. But there is a lie and it's been preserved for a long time. I mean, it's been preserved, but it's a lie. Do we then accept the lie as a truth? Well, you don't know if it's a lie or a truth. Okay, but you can verify it. It can oh. be verified. Okay. Because if the truth is missing, all you have to do is look for the truth. Because you know one thing? The truth will never go away. It's the truth. That's a nice hat. It won't go away. But That's on what basis are you saying the Quran is a lie? Good. I'm going to use a logical argument. Okay. In the Quran, you have laws you call Sharia law. Yes. Now, according to Sharia law, you can never accept the word of one man. There has to be two witnesses. Then you can carry out the judgment. If you have the word of one man, it can't be testified because one man, we don't know. Now, if we are going to use Sharia to judge the Quran, then the Quran cannot be accepted. Because, for example, I want to say this to you. The Torah yeah, and the other books are written by different messengers and different prophets. The same book, the same library of the of the of the uh, Jewish books are written by different prophets. Yeah, they might say different messages, but it's in the same book, one book. Now you come to the New Testament, which Christians call their Bible, Matthew, Mark, Luke. They are different people, but it's the same book. Now the Quran is one book. Yeah, but the only messenger of that book is Prophet Muhammad. Is it true? And I'm asking you, is it true? And the Sahaba. Yeah, but I'm asking, is it true? Oh, so the Sahaba, did the Sahaba write the Quran? Did they speak in the Quran? No, they formed it together. The word of the Quran is the word of Prophet Muhammad, what he heard from God. Isn't that right? So that's the word of one man from one God. But do you know about the story where he, you know, he got a visual, he went to heaven and he spoke to the other prophets? I wouldn't even argue about that. I'm saying to you that if we went to a court of law today, let's say for the, today we go to court, we've got three books. We've got the Jewish Bible, the Christian Bible, and the Islamic Bible. If we go to court, the Quran will be pointed out as not true. Because the Quran is one book with one messenger. Only one. But the Jewish Bible, many messengers, one book. Christian Bible, many messengers, one book. The Quran stands by itself. And so, on the basis of the word of one man, it cannot be accepted in court. The, well, you know, because why are you saying it's not one man? You, you okay, know, you know. Listen, listen, you know the Quran is a message of Prophet Muhammad from God. I'm not disputing that. But, but I'm saying to you that God in the past has always, even when Jesus preached, he said, witness. There has to be witnesses. He says, the Father is my witness. The miracles I'm doing is the Father's witness to me that he sent me. Prophet Muhammad has no such witness. I'm not, listen, I'm not disputing. I love you as a Muslim. I'm not, I'm not yeah, rubbishing your book. I'm not doing that. I'm saying to you, be logical and look at your book. It's a word of one man with no witness. The Bible, Jewish books, witnesses. Christian Bible, witnesses. The Quran is only one, one man. Only one so man. There's one no man. Abraham, there's no uh, Moses, there's none of these. Though, no they all, no, no. You say they are spoken about in the Quran, right. but they are spoken from one man. One man from the one. You why, see, how why does that falsify the Quran? Come again. Why does that falsify the Quran? Because we cannot trust the word of one man. We need somebody to back him up. Even God knows that. For example, God says, when somebody makes an accusation, don't carry out the sentence unless you have a witness. And so if there's only one man, you can't carry out the sentence. It might be, the person might be saying the truth, but he has no witness. And so it's, it's a weak argument. But once there's a witness, it's like, well, somebody says, I was there, I saw it. That's a witness. Even in court, if you go to court and it's just your word, it's just your word. But if you can get somebody, for example, in, 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 in the court, we say we need, we need evidence. Yeah. What is evidence? Evidence is to support the argument. Yeah. And I'm saying, I love Muslims, I love the, 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 the people, but their book has no witness. That's my concern. Listen, if Islam was true, I would join it. I'm telling you, if Islam was true, I would join it. But based on the argument that Islam is the word of one man, one prophet, one book, it can't stand. But maybe those standards are held for humankind and not held to the words of God. Those standards come from God. The standards. Yes. Yeah, it's God's standards. God is the one that says, God is the one that says, there must be a witness. He's the one that said it. No, because you see, for example, 
the reason why God said there must be a witness is because one man can lie. Yeah. But if two lie, that's that's that means God will visit them. Yeah. That's why there has to be a witness. So I'm saying, you know, I love Moses, but their book, the witness is not strong. I mean, a, a whole book, only one man. Why don't you look at the maybe the content of what well, the content? Some of the content comes from the other. Some of the contents come from the from the Torah and from the and from the Injil. Right. That's the problem. And, 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 and watch it. This is the argument. I think that's what he means by the same message. Yeah. No, it well, but, same, yeah, but it's been changed. It's been, it's been called. There isn't all three books called towards one God. For, for, like for, one God, for example, for example, there is no account in the Quran that is the same in the Bible. It is always changed. For example, yeah. the Quran mentions that Jesus does miracles as a child. It's not in the Bible. But there, there, there's some commonalities where basically Jesus cured the blind and the leopard. Yeah, and but, they, but, but let me, let me, let me, okay, fine. I hear that. Yeah. What about the fact that it mentions that Jesus took clay and made birds when it's not in the Bible? Yeah. What do we do with that? It's in the Quran. Yeah. What do we do with that? See, let, let, me, let me say this to you as well. For example, when the Bible mentions the miracles of Jesus, the Bible teaches that Jesus never did a miracle until he came out and was baptized by the Holy Spirit. That is when he did miracles. So then we know the miracles Jesus is doing is coming from God. Yeah, the Quran says as a child, he made miracles. Now, you see why, I'm, you see why I've got, a, I've got a, 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 a confusion in my mind? That the Bible explains the miracles of Jesus and the Bible explains how they happened. Yeah, the Quran says, Prophet Muhammad says he did miracles as a child. It's not in the Bible. As a child, we, listen, we know about his childhood. We know about him going to the temple, arguing with the elders, having a conversation with them, but he never did a miracle. See my, my confusion? And I'm saying, well, what the Quran says is nice. He did miracles as a child. So you hold, you hold your standards there. according to what the Bible says, and then you try to justify that by the words of the Quran. I'm not understanding what... Okay, let me explain to you. Yeah. For example, the Jews reject Jesus. True. Yeah? But Christians accept Jesus. Yet, Christians base their gospel on the Jewish scriptures. Yes. And what Christians say is that they say the New Testament is a confirmation of the Old of Testament. The Old Testament. Yeah. yeah? So the Jews may reject it, but at least the New Testament is about Jesus the Jewish Messiah that they were expecting. The Jews go, our Messiah hasn't come. Even the Muslims accept Jesus as Messiah. Yeah, they accept him, but the Jews don't. Now, the issue is that just because Muslims accept Jesus as Messiah, does that authenticate, authenticate the Quran? No! Because there are things that Jesus said that if you look at the Quran, then you begin to ask questions like, why would Jesus say this and why would the Quran say this? True. And so the message of the Quran and the message of Jesus is different. That's my concern. Yeah. Are you with me? And so I love Muslims. You know what? I love Muslims. I love them. Yeah, but the, there won't be a point of yes. the Quran if it's just going to accept what the Bible says. I mean, there's not going to be any use for the Quran if it's just going to back up the Bible. So okay. there has to be some kind of, uh, uh, not changes, but differences in, okay. in, in, in the story. Okay. Because uh, what we believe because in... Because it wasn't clear in the Bible. Yeah, what we believe in is that uh, the Quran came in to, to pres preserve or like to, to preserve what is right and to let away for, for the things that are wrong, basically. Like, for, for example, in the Bible, uh, I'm not too versed in the Bible, but I, I believe from what I heard from people saying, is that it has a lot of uh, stories, Im immoral stories, that are not uh, uh, justified by... Uh, uh, like these stories are not just like, what's the point of the story? There's no moral point behind these stories. For example, Lot having uh, having sex with, it, with his daughters and whatnot, you know? There's no moral justification of that story within the Bible. Mm -hmm. So, for, for example, this, is what we believe is that the Bible has Word of God, and it has words of other people as well, words of prophets, and it has words of uh, other people that we don't even even know, basically. But um, so we 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 verify that by it, like the Quran basically acts like a sieve. So whatever uh, it uh, basically goes aligned with the Quran, we believe in, and whatever it doesn't uh, goes along with the Quran, we reject. You know. So we believe that the Quran is the ultimate. Just the truth, basically, and based upon that truth, 
we we can uh, know whether other scriptures are right or wrong. And and based upon what I've what I've been seeing is that uh, um, uh, most uh, or a lot of the Bible is actually true because it goes along with what the Quran says. But like I like like you said, in some stories there are some differences that makes you wonder. Okay, why is that here? Why is that been added? Why is that been subtracted? What's what's the actual truth? Because like you said, there has to be an ultimate truth, and that's where we're all looking for for the ultimate truth, and there can only be one truth. I like that. Yeah, and uh, and, and and that's how we kind of uh, understand uh, the Bible. Can I come back to you on that one? Because my concern with the issue of the Quran, yeah. Is yeah. that Talk to the police, one man? Uh, no, not just a one man. Uh -huh. I'm, I'm, I'm going to add more to it now. Yeah, go ahead. My point to you is that you think if bad thing, God yeah, don't think gave the Jews the their Bible, no, they sell it in if God gave the Christians the Injil, and now God brings the Quran, it means God is confused. I don't think it's a good thing. And I'll tell you why I say so. The reason why I say so is because the fact that the Quran mentions the corruption in these books, for example, you mentioned Lot. Yeah? You see, the Bible is more real. For example, David. The Bible speaks about the mistakes of David and what he did right. The Bible doesn't cover them. I'm, 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 not, very, I'm, not, I'm not very well versed in the, in the Bible. Okay. But I'm just saying that's that's the example. Okay, okay. Yeah, but I'm saying to you, I'm saying to you that that argument about the Quran coming to correct and rectify is not correct because because it's like it's like it's as if I say I say this with respect. I tell Muslims your Quran cannot be true because if we use the logic of what came first, if the truth comes Tell after to be shut up. a lie. It doesn't make sense. A lie must follow the truth. If a lie comes, it's because the truth exists. And I say, especially if it's from God. Yeah. Come again. It's from God. Exactly. You know that, that's my point. That if it's coming from God, the truth has to come first. I mean, look, look. As I talk to you, my heart is breaking for Muslims because you are. Sincere. I mean, here you are. You're talking to me. You know, you're not fighting with me. You know, you know what I mean. You're you are just having a conversation with me. That's exactly what I want. Yeah. It breaks my heart that that you know you you hold to something, and I'm saying, look, be logical. You you guys say we have to be logical. True. Well, logically, the Quran cannot be true. You know, it can't be. I, I'm saying even because, before it because the, it's the truth. word of one man. No, the because it's the man. truth after a lie. No, exactly. How can it be? That's my point as well. Yeah. How can it be a truth after a lie? You see, there has to be a truth before there can be a lie. Because you are, you, if you are lying, you are lying about the truth. True. You can't, you can't begin, you can't begin a conversation with a lie. No, there has to be a truth. Then when you say something good, well, that's a lie. Why? Because the truth already exists. And I'm saying the Torah existed, the Injil existed, but the Quran came. Yeah. But the truth can be changed. Yeah, what he's saying is okay. the truth has to become first. Yeah. yeah. Am I, am I, am I, am I, so, so Jews, so Jews have the truth according to your perspective. Of course they do. But even they reject. So Jesus, they reject Jesus. Yes. They don't want to know. They don't want to know about Jesus. No, but, but do you accept Jesus or do you? I do. I accept but both. The truth I, is that I, I accept both Jewish scriptures and the Christian scriptures. I accept them. I accept both that one was a promise, the next one was a fulfillment. Like God made a promise in the old and in the new is a fulfillment. In the, in the old, he kept on saying, uh, Isa is coming, Nabi Isa is coming, Nabi Isa is coming. In the new, he comes. And now here comes the Quran. I'm thinking, wait, that's a confusion. Because Nabi Isa has already come and is giving a message. And I said to Muslims, please give me the message of Nabi Isa. They can't. Okay, well, They'll tell me, well, it agrees. He came to say one. I'm saying, no, no, no. Give me his message. Muslims can't have it. It's to worship uh, one God. Basically. Come again. Yeah, to worship one God. Yeah, but is that all Nabi Isa said? What? Is that all he said? Is that all he said? No, that's the, that's the, the main basic premise. Uh, basic premise basically. But we worship one God. We do. Yeah. No, you and you, the three well, there you are. See, he says three. Yeah. Now, now I like that one. Can I, can I, can I say something here? Yeah. I want to say something. Here. Let's be truthful to ourselves. Go yeah. Ahead. We're standing here right now. Correct. We're in the physical world. We can see. But then we know there is a world we cannot see. Yes. Sir, yeah. Of course. That means we have this dimension, but there's another dimension we can't see. Yeah. And I'm saying to you, when we Christians say that God is three in one, it's because we ourselves are three in one. Now let me say this to you. I can see your physical dimension, but I cannot see your other dimension. But watch this. Your physical dimension and your other dimension, are they the same? Like you're saying him and his soul? Exactly. 
No, they're not the same. They're not the same. No, I mean, what one is? But the same. But it's him, yeah. But it's not the same. So, so you see how God the Father and God the Son is one God, but not the same. You just said it yourself. He, he, yeah, his that, body that, is that, here, that, but that, his soul that. cannot be seen. His soul is different from his body. It's not the same thing. Like the it's a different it. element. A completely different element. And you see, we ourselves, we were made like God. We are, we are three in one, except we don't think about it. We think about ourselves like we're one. But let me say this to you. From the scriptures, it teaches that a human being is a spirit who has a soul and lives in the body. Three but one. Now, now, what's, the, the, what's the theory? You said two. Spirit, soul, body. What's the difference between a spirit and a soul? I can explain. Now watch this. Your soul is a faculty of your reason. You see, when the it comes to your... Yeah, no, no, no. Wait, wait. You, your, your consciousness is in both, all three parts. Your body is conscious. If I hit you, you are conscious. Yeah. So consciousness runs through your spirit, your soul, and your body. There's, no, there's a consciousness there. But watch it. This is why I want to make the distinction. For example, our soul is a faculty of reasoning. That means we take one plus one, we say it's two. That's reason. Now your spirit does not reason. Your spirit just knows. It's the faculty that tells you this will happen and it will happen. That will happen. It will happen. He is not correct. He's not correct. You see, your spirit is what you call, people call it a hunch. Like, like intuition. Intuition is not reason. In fact, many times intuition does not make sense. But it's right. And so we as a human being, for example, tomorrow morning you, will, you may wake up and something will tell you uh, there's going to be an accident. And you go, I don't see it. I mean, by your soul rationalizing, it doesn't make any so sense. So your soul or your spirit rationalizes that? Your soul rationalizes, but your spirit knows. Your spirit comes, you see, your spirit is connected to God. And so your spirit receives information from that dimension of God. Your soul is in this world. It goes by data. Your soul is always working on data. You know, what you have, like, what do I have? For example, if your soul doesn't know something, it doesn't know it. It doesn't have answers. And so what it will do is that it will try and make something up. Okay. But your spirit, it just knows. If you, your spirit is very, when your spirit speaks to you, it speaks to you by command. It will tell you left, right. But your soul will go, uh, maybe left, maybe right, maybe center, maybe forward. Can I? From the Bible. The Bible, see, this is the thing about it. The Bible teaches a lot that people don't explore. The Bible is very comprehensive. Now, spirit, soul, and body is an idea from the Bible. I didn't, I didn't write it. I can open my Bible and I can show you where it says spirit, soul, and body. And then what I'm saying, I can take you to the Bible and say, look at what it says. Your spirit knows, your soul reasons. Uh, can I take you back on the point that you mentioned earlier? Yes. Uh, you said uh, basically that the truth cannot come after a lie. Yes. No, I'm saying, I'm saying a lie cannot come before the truth. A lie cannot thing, come. Yeah. No, no, no. A lie cannot come before the truth. If there is a lie, it means the truth already exists. That's my point. Yeah. Okay. If there is a lie, it's because the truth already exists. Okay. Yes. Yeah, true. But the way I kind of uh, see things yes. is that uh, when Moses, uh, when God sent Moses, yes, uh, he was sent basically to, to a specific, to a specific uh, people. Yes. For a specific uh, uh, message. Yes. Basically. Yes. And then, and then that, and then these people, they took these, this message way too uh, extreme to a, to a point. How do you know? Uh, sorry. How do you know? I mean, this is just what I've been uh, taught. See, that yeah. is that is one of the issues as well because yeah. I say to Muslims, look, I want to listen to your argument, but right. please give me evidence. I want, I don't, don't, don't tell me. For example, a Muslim will say the Bible is corrupted. I'm saying, please show me the corruption, yeah. and then they might take scriptures and they begin to say, I say, well, but you didn't read all of it. You just read one line, and you're telling me that is a corruption. No, no. For example, an eye, an eye, and a, and a tooth for a tooth, yes. and, and all that. Yes. This came in the Old Testament, if yes. I'm not mistaken. Yes. And then the New Testament. Yes. Uh, basically, from what I understand is, is that. Jesus, yeah, uh, preached to, to give the other cheek. Yes. Basically. Yes. And then, and then, when the Quran came, it kind of encapsulated. Like you can't just, it's not just straightforward. An eye and eye for a tooth for a tooth. Mm -hmm. If someone did that to an eye, it could have been an accident. It yeah. could have been. There's a lot of yeah. different reasons. I, I like you know? your, I like your, I like your Yeah. Argument. So you can't just go and take his eye away, you know. Yeah. And if someone slaps you, you can't just give him the other, the other, because there's rights, you know. Yeah. Human beings have rights. Yes. So Islam kind of entails. Both it tries to balance out both, both messages. Exactly, exactly. Okay. Don't go to your extreme in your religion or, or in your beliefs. 
don't go to extreme in your beliefs and it's a, there's a middle ground basically where you don't have to take his eye out nor 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 give him your eye okay there's no, a no, hadith, no. there is a hadith that says uh, like everything that's best is in the middle. Okay. Like, like, like basically, yeah, don't okay. go too extreme on this okay. side, don't okay. go too extreme. Now, now, these things you're talking about, for me, they sound interesting. Yeah. It makes the Quran some interesting piece of literature or whatever you want to call it. But you see, this is my concern. My concern is that we're not just speaking about nice arguments, we're speaking about the final destination of the human soul when you die. Yes. Yeah? Yeah? yeah. Very important. Your salvation is absolutely important. It depends on. And, and and when it comes to salvation, the Quran does not provide salvation. The Quran tells you you better do your best. At the end, God will judge. Yes. The Bible doesn't do that. The Bible gives you an assurance it's like that free ticket. You, it's not a free ticket. Okay, what? Well, you, 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 no, 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 no. Wait, wait, wait. It's, it's more than that. See, like, there you are. You take only one side of the of the yeah. preaching of the gospel. Like, no, well, please go ahead. I, I, I'm forgiven. Well, does that mean I cannot kill a murder? No, no, but go the, ahead. the fact is that if you are truly saved, you won't want to kill or murder. See, this is what is interesting. You are getting a free pass, but the free pass comes with so much love. How? Can you turn around and slap the person? Like somebody, you did something like God says, I forgive you. I'm going to release you. Based on believing Jesus, I release you to go and live a new life. You say, I'm free. I'm forgiven. No, you're going to go to hell. Because the person who gave you the mercy, it gave you mercy and power to live a new life. For example, when, when, before the mercy of Jesus came, we did not have the power to do what is right. I'm telling you, Jesus told the Jews, he told the Jews, look, you've been trying to do what is right all these years, you can't do it. I'm come now to empower you, and that my death will empower you to come out of your old life into a new life. And so in your new life, all you need is me, Nabi Isa. See, that's a hard message for Muslims, like, how can it be? That's why we say he's God. Because only God can empower any human being. A human, another human being cannot empower another, another human being. But if God became a man, then he can empower other human beings to live the way we're supposed to live. Yeah, that is who Nabi Isa is. I cannot, I cannot see your point where God can be a man. That doesn't compute with how I think of the world. Okay, let me ask you a question. Does, doesn't was, he no longer... No longer is God if he becomes a man. Well, let me, well I like that's a good because that's, the attributes the, or or what we that, that, think of God is is it's nothing like a man. That's a good one. Yeah. That is why earlier when I was mentioning about dimensions, yeah, Sorry. and I and I and I was saying to you that there are dimensions. There is this natural dimension and there are invisible dimensions. We don't even see them. Yeah, and, I, I believe in that. And, and, yeah. and those about them. But, but but watch this. Yeah? We as human beings are in this dimension, yeah? Yet there is a core dimension about us which we call the spirit. That's why we can worship God. Because we're not dogs. I never seen a dog worshiping God yeah, but the word or a monkey. The word but we human beings wrong. have been... The, go on. Like my point is, you can't say the God in us. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not saying the yeah, God in us. That. I said there's a God dimension. No, yeah. but I quote you. you said God the, dimension. Okay. God dimension. That's yeah, what yeah. I said. Uh, my, my, my point to you is that God is a spirit and we have been made as spirits as well, but we live in a body. Yeah, and yeah. so that's how, because God breathed us, that is his dimension. The breath of God is the spirit of God. Now watch it. My point to you, which was you, 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 you and you and you. You said the dog. You don't, you don't have the spirit. No, dog don't have a spirit. How they are alive then? They have the soul. They don't have a spirit. Which is different between the soul and the spirit. Well, the spirit is a higher dimension than the soul. Um, I have a question. What do you mean? Well, the spirit is a higher faculty than the soul. The same way your soul is higher than your body. Yeah? Isn't your whole soul higher than your body dimension? Your body is limited. Your body can be in one place. Your soul can be in different places. To your mind, to your thinking. You can go to France, you can go to Germany, you can be all over the place. To your thinking, that's the soul dimension, isn't it? You mean thinking is the, the soul? It comes from the soul. I'm coming, let me. I'm coming. Yeah, but we need to understand the concept and go further. Okay. If okay. we don't know what the soul is, okay. what's the okay. Okay. spirit? Okay, spirit okay. Okay. okay, okay, let me explain. Yeah. According to your them, soul, one of them is, is the hunch. Your soul, the hunch is a, your soul is a bridge between your spirit and your body. Soul is a bridge between your spirit and your body. What's the spirit then? Your spirit is the part of the breath of God that comes into you. In fact, your spirit is your life. Your soul is not your life. Your soul helps you to live your life through your body. So if, if 
if I don't have a soul, would I be alive or not? What do you mean? Me. You have, you have to have, everybody has a soul. You can lose your soul. So the dog has a soul, I have the soul. Yeah, the dog has a soul. But the dog has no spirit, but I do have a spirit. Exactly. The difference between you, the difference between you and the dog, yeah, is that the dog is not made in the image of God, but you are made in the image of God. I don't dog, believe that God has an image in the first place. Again. I don't believe God has an image in the first place. So. No, but I said you are the image of God. I didn't say you are. I didn't say God has an image. I said you are the image of God. We are the image of God. No, we don't have believe God. You are changing, we you are changing you, our argument. You saying let's you go are back, the let's image go back of to God. what we're talking about. You are changing our argument. I hear you, but wait. Let's go no, back no, to our Let's go back to our argument. No, no, no. Fine. We'll talk about it. We'll come to it. You're trying to, you're we'll trying come, to we'll explain the Trinity by we'll, saying your soul is something and your body is something else. My, my, my point to you is that every human being, every human being is three beings in one. Okay, okay, I have a question. Do you believe in the Bible? You believe in the Bible, yeah? No, no, don't change that. Don't change that. I have, I have, I'm going to point out some, I'm going to point out some Let's stick to the discussion. Okay, I will, stick I will. Stick to the discussion. We're, we're speaking about spirit, soul, and body, the dimensions of, of, of yes, the yes, visible yes. and the natural. I'm just going to stick to that. What about, what about, I'm sorry, the point that I said. Yes, he was saying something. No, that, that uh, Moses came basically yeah. for the Jews. Yes. And that Jesus came also for the Jews, for, for specific people. Yes. But then we believe that the Quran came in as the ultimate balance. Yeah. Ba -ba so, 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 what to the point where you said that uh, true that the, the Quran doesn't offer salvation? No, no, that the lie cannot come before the truth. Yeah, comes before. We believe that the ultimate truth is is uh, is uh, the Quran, but what came before it was the truth for those people at that time. But if, if the Quran came you know as the ultimate truth, yeah, then, exactly. the, then the Quran poses a confusion over the over the over the predecessors. No, no, those that came before the Quran. They were true. You're posing a, you're were true. a confusion. No, I'm not saying they were lies. I'm saying they were true yeah, but I'm, for but specific I'm, people at a specific time. But it's that's not the ultimate. Well, 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 but, yeah, yeah. We don't have to. We don't have to. But, but, yeah, but, we don't have to say but that. if you're saying that, just say it if was if the truth. If you're saying time. if the Quran, I'm telling you, if the Quran is the word of God, God is confused. How come elaborate? Yeah, because he's giving the Torah, he's giving the Injil, and now the Quran comes. He's not to giving it to all people. Come again. He didn't give it to me. How come? How many Quran, Bibles are there? He gave the, how, the, the, look at this argument. How many, how many Bibles no, no, are there? No, no, There's yeah. only one. There's only one Bible. Okay, See, this, one Bible. This, this, this is my point. This is my point to you. Yeah, yeah, this, 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 this is my point to you. This is my point to you. We are speaking about God. Yeah? And we are speaking about God dealing with mankind. Yes. Yeah? Yes. God has dealt with mankind in different times. Yes. But according to the Bible, yes. which the one? last... Exactly. Which, 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 which Bible are you talking about? There's only one Bible. Go ahead. Uh, we give you the benefit of the doubt. Go ahead. My point, let me, let me, I'll read what I'm saying. Yeah. Let me, let me, let it, let, let it speak for, let the Bible speak, not me. Let the Bible speak. Look at what the Bible says. No, no, but what I'm, what I'm saying to refute your point. Yes. Sorry. You go on. Yeah, what, what I'm saying to refute your point is that you said that there can't be any uh, truth after a lie. No, my the yeah, truth has to come first. Yes. Yeah. I'm, so saying I'm, saying, I'm saying a lie is based on the fact that there is a truth. Yes. So so what you mean by this argument yes. is that what came first is the truth. Which is the Jewish yes. testament. Which, the, which is the Old Testament the and the Old New Testament. Testament. Yes. Because the New Testament came to, to solidify the No, it is solidified. It came to fulfill. Fulfill. So yes. Sorry. To fulfill the Old Testament. Yes. Yeah. But I'm, what I'm saying is that those two never claimed to be the ultimate truth. You did? What are you talking about? No, I'm saying what I'm saying is I'm sorry. Take that back. Yeah, go on. It might, it might have. No, we have. all we all see. see yeah, 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 it yeah. might have. Yes. But what I'm saying is, it didn't come to the whole of humanity. Yes. It came for a specific people at a specific time. So it's not the ultimate. It was revealed. To, it was revealed to them then. Yes. But do you know that even but if for them? No, no, wait, 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 wait. Do you know that they are proselytes? Jewish proselytes. I don't even know what proselytes are. A proselyte is somebody who is not a Jew, has converted to the Jewish religion. Can you say that one more, one more time? Jewish proselytes. Are a a proselyte is somebody who is not a Jew, but has chosen to become a Jew. They must be circumcised, they must go through various who just now become a Jew. So, so convert? Yes, they convert. So now, even though it was given to the Jews, even at that time, there are people who were not Jews, but became Jews by virtue of conversion. Yeah, and I'm saying to you that right now, let me read what the Bible says about 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 what I'm telling you. It says God, who at different times, in different manners, speak in time past unto the fathers by the prophets, has in these last days spoken to us by His Son, whom He has appointed as heir of all things, by whom also He made the worlds. 
I mean, what has the Quran got to say to that? Because it says here that God, who at different times spoke to us, has in these last days spoken to us by his son, Nabi Isa. Through him. Yes. And so the question is, did Nabi Isa send Prophet Muhammad? No, he's a prophet. God sent prophet. No, no, no. Nabi Isa, after Nabi Isa, everybody who was sent came by Nabi Isa. Nobody else. Nabi Isa was the one doing the same thing. That's my point. So he, and I can died, show you. Like, he died according to you, right? He, he arose and he called his apostles. And the question is... I'm sorry, but according to your understanding, yes. he was crucified. From the, the scriptures. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm not saying it. Yeah, I Anything know. I say, I can he refer was, to the scriptures. He was crucified, if I'm yes. not mistaken, right? Yes. So how can he send someone else if he was already crucified? He resurrected. He appeared to them. Haven't you read the scriptures? Sorry. He appeared to them. And do you know what he did? He co- they, Watch what is interesting. These men who ran away when he died, all of a sudden they came to preach. What gave them the courage? After they ran when he died, what gave them the courage to preach? Because they saw him. And he gave them power. And told them, go and preach for me. And he told them, not only go and preach for me, but after you preach for me, those who come will follow him. Not Lisa. See, I love Muslims. Don't misunderstand me. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not like no, we're not, I'm not taking anything with, uh, with disrespect or something like Thank that. Thank you. So Thank you don't you. have to keep. Uh, no, no. But yeah. I'm not, I need to say. I respect respect you. You, you, may, you, may, you may know. You may know. But some other yeah, Muslims. Yeah, I respect they, you as a human being. You respect me as a human being. I, I do. Get that, you know? I do. That's, that's the basic of it. I do. Well, otherwise, we won't be having a conversation. I, I agree. Yeah. But uh, can, can I ask you a question? Uh, yes. Uh, I'm gonna have to go. So. Okay. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. What's your name? My name is Daniel. Abdullah. 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 Nice to meet you, Abdullah. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Daniel, I just have a couple of questions. Yes. Uh, in in the Bible, yes. there's a couple of things that contradict what you say. And I'll give you I'll give you them and then you can maybe explain to me what they mean. I could be understanding them wrongly. Maybe you can shed some light. Okay. Uh, so in Mark 15, 34, Jesus cried out in a loud voice. My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? Now, is Jesus referring to himself or is he referring to God? Who is he referring to at that? Which version of God? Yeah. Who, who is he referring to when he says, My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? Who is he referring to in that? In that? This is why we Christians, we know and we understand okay. that God yeah. is the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. And, the Holy Spirit. Okay. and so when Jesus cried, he cried to the Father. He always referred to his father, but my father, but with the Trinity, my father. But question: yes. This is the Trinity. He is the Father. The Father, Who? the Father is the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is Jesus. No, 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 no. Like I said to you, you are a Trinity. You have a spirit. You have a soul. You live in a body. These are three parts of you. Three different beings. Your body has a life that is different from your mind. Are you telling me that everything your body does, your mind does? No. no. I, I, there are my, different my, dimensions. My, my body is a vessel that, I, that is living in this world. My soul... That Isa became a vessel for God. For God. Then why, why does he say, my God, why have you forsaken me? Because as a human being... He's, why doesn't he refer to myself? See, oh, no, 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 no. He, God, he was referring to the Father who is different from him. Like your body. For example, you go, I'm hungry. Is your soul hungry? Okay, when, let me ask you let me ask the question. When you eat your... Uh, what, what are, oh, shish kebab or whatever. Yeah, yeah. Are you eating it for your soul? I'm eating it for myself, for exactly. my body. For to sustain body. myself. Yeah. No, no, yeah, but your soul lives in you. It doesn't eat. Your soul doesn't eat what you are eating. It's your yes, body that needs it. Of course. And so, there are things that when Nabi Isa speaks about yeah. the Father, yes, he's speaking about him separately, but he is also God. See, your body is part of you. I can't, I, I, what's your name? I didn't ask you. Taha. 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 I can't, I can't go, well, Taha's soul is different from Taha's body. No, it's you, Taha, but your body and your soul, they are different elements of you, but the same you. So, who's your God? Is it the Holy Spirit or the Jesus himself? Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Three plus one. Holy one God. Each one has his own roles or himself? Each one has his own dimension, yeah. like you. Okay, you're a one person, but you have different dimensions. Different well. yes. One more question. Like Jesus said, I am ascending to my father and your father. Yes. To my God and your God. Yes. Okay, now who is you referring to here? Here things are lost. Okay. If, he, if, he, if he's saying his father is his, is his spirit, yes. why does he refer to, you, to it as your father as well? Okay, okay. Now, let me explain it to you this way. Yes. We have to consider that we Christians, yeah. we see Jesus as... God and man. Yeah. So Jesus belongs to 
two different dimensions, God and man. So when he speaks, you have to ask yourself, is he speaking? Because Jesus spoke as God, but he also spoke as man. And he made it clear. He made it clear when he's speaking as a man. If you listen, he's speaking as a man. And then when he's speaking as God, he makes it clear he's speaking as God. And so you have to make that decision in this conversation. Otherwise, you get mixed up. You'll be like, okay, is he God? Is he? I hear what you're saying. So do you believe that God is self-sustaining? Come again. Is God self-sustaining? Does he sustain himself? Who? God. Self-sustaining. Yeah, do you, do you yeah, believe yeah. God is self-sustaining? Well, I wouldn't even say self-sustaining. He is sustaining himself. He doesn't even self-sustain. He is. He is life. He's source. Jesus, when he was born, um, if they stopped feeding him, would he have died or would he have continued to turn out? Well, you have to understand that he came with a mission. So yeah. there are things that pertain to him in his mission that they went exactly the way it's supposed to go. It wasn't like any just any baby. I understand, but, yes. but he, he 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 was sustained from another being, his mother, Mary. Yes, the Virgin Mary. Yes, I believe she's a as a human being. Yes, because babies need milk. So okay. so so how how can God be how can God be man, how can man, how can man? You see, but, but you see, believe see, he is God. See, no, 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 wait, wait, wait. See, that's the thing you're doing. You're, you're doing, you're mixing them. And I'm saying, you have to see his humanity. The whole point of Trinity is mixing them. No, no, no. You have to see him as man and as God. And so as a human being, he got tired. As a human being, he went to the toilet. That wasn't God going to the toilet. That's a human body. Human beings go to the toilet. So as a human being, he went to the toilet, but it wasn't God going to the toilet. So why did God, God doesn't go to why the does, toilet? Why did God allow, her, how, allow his body to be crucified then? Because without crucifixion, we cannot be saved. That is the reason why I'm a Christian. Because of a crucifixion. If you take crucifixion, I can't be a Christian. For what? My being a Christian is based on crucifixion. I need a power of the crucifixion. Otherwise, what's the point? If he hadn't died, I would die and go to hell. But because he was crucified, now I don't have to do that. So you can do whatever you want. No, you no, 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 no. See, that's the thing about it. You go, well, no. He died to empower me not to live a sinful life. See, anybody who tells you they're a Christian, but they want to sin, they're not a Christian. Because you know, when Jesus comes, he empowers you. He changes your whole life. You, you don't need, you're not the same person. For example, there are things you could do and then you just laugh. <laughs> when Jesus comes, you can't do the same things and laugh. You don't even want to do it. Yeah. I have a question, Daniel. Yes, yes, yes. Daniel. When you die and you, when, when you're on Judgment Day, who is this person judging you? Is it Jesus or is it God? Come again. When you die, yes. You believe in Judgment Day, right? Yes. Well, you'll be judged for for what you've atoned yes. in life. Yes. Who will be judging you, God Jesus. or Jesus? Jesus says the Father has committed all judgment to Him. That means Jesus will judge you and he will judge me. He will judge everybody. To him, he's referring to someone else. He's not referring to himself. What do you mean? No, he said. You just he said, said it. Yourself. He said the Father has committed all judgment to me, Jesus. To me? Yes. Okay. Listen, I can read it to you. He said the Father has given all judgment to me. Uh, yeah, and so I the mean, Father has handed judgment to Jesus. And do you know what? He can judge with authority because he himself had become so a prophet So you, you think Jesus is more of an authority than God? No, 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 no. Jesus gets his authority as a man from the Father. Okay, and where is the Father in that situation? What do you mean? The judgment day, the Jesus father will be judging you. The Father has committed judgment to Jesus where the Father is showing, can you imagine? He has so much power, he's committed it to his son to be judged over us. And the son responds to the Father. You understand? The son, for example, the Father sent him. Yeah? And so he says, I can't do nothing without my father. So I don't dispute that. He says, as a human being, he depends on his father. You understand? Well, how can you not see that as uh, as father, as in God? What would you mean? You can, it's, it's, uh, it's, now we're coming to words. Father could mean different things. It doesn't necessarily have to mean. Well, let's keep, let's keep it simple. Let me say this to you. You sound like a sincere Muslim to me. Yeah? And I'm saying to you, there are things that have to be revealed to you. Yeah? And I'll say to you, at least, think about this. The Jews were given a gospel. Yeah. yeah? They were given a message. Yeah. And in their message, they were trying to strive to please God. They couldn't. Yes. Then Nabi Isa comes with a, different, with a message to tell the Jews, look, I'm the message that God has been trying to send to you. Yes. I'm here to empower you. Yes. Yeah? Yes. I'm here to help you. As a prophet. Exactly. Well, not, not just as a prophet. As a prophet from more God. More than a prophet. More than a prophet. He, he was a human being, a prophet from God, full stop. More than a prophet. He came as a prophet, not only with a message, but he was a message. You see, let me say this to you. You may not agree with me or see it, but from now to eternity, 
The only way to know God is to love Isa. I disagree with you. He is definitely one way. He, is. He, he, he delivered a message. I don't. I don't no, he's a message. Him. He himself is a message. He delivered a message, yes. But he himself is a message. Yes, he is a prophet from God. No, 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 no. I'm saying he himself is a message. You cannot know God except through Nabi Isa. You can't. There's no way to know God. I think there's multiple ways to learn to know God. Well, that's why you, I like what you said. You think, but you don't know. You have to know. Well, it's the same. And the scriptures reveal. No, the scriptures reveal. Which which one, Daniel? Which scriptures? Would you mean? How many Bibles is there? Only one. Which there one? might be different versions, which but only one? one Bible. Which one is it? Only, for example. Which one is it? I'm saying to you. It's Mark. There's Matthew. Yes. There's, I can I can start. Yeah, there, there are different books in the same. They're in the same. New and, Testament. And if, if I, and if I look at the verse here and the verse there, they're completely different. And some of that them is the reason why that some is, of them contradict each is, other. No, no, no contradiction. That's what makes it more believable. You know something? If an incident happens and everybody says the same thing, you know that something is wrong. You know, you, know, you know the police, they say the police know the, the lie when people write the same and their statement is all the same. But if a true statement, people will say it like slightly different because we are different human beings. You know, we see things, we have different words we use. Yes. But if you have a statement that everybody writes the same thing, the same word, you say the police catch people for lying like that. Because liars, they agree. We will all say this. We will all say that. There has to be a variation because we are different human beings. Tahir? Daniel, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. I, I, I just want to say something to you. I, yes. I hope you... Have you read the Quran? I've read some of it. Yes, you read some of it. I even have a Quran. Please read all of it. And I think it will make... It will it, change it. It, 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 it Tahir, will make sense. Tahir, he, let, let me say this to you. Somebody mentioned Ayaun. It is preserved. I'm telling you, if it's not true, and it's, not, it's still preserved, if you preserve something that's not true, it doesn't make it true because it's preserved. If 1,000 years from now, there's no Bible, and there's only a Quran, it doesn't make the Quran the truth. Preservation is not true. You need more than preservation. It is content. It's, it's, what is the content? And the content of the Quran is different from the content of the Bible. Who wrote the Bible? What do you mean who wrote it? Who wrote the Bible? The messages that were sent by God wrote it. Okay. And these messages are human. Of course. Human can make mistakes. Yes or no? Are you saying that the Quran was written by God? Yes, of course. The Quran, uh, Quran, your, your, argument, the Quran your, argument, was, your argument is now called uh, flat. The, the Quran, the Quran it was written was, by human beings. The Quran was written it by was human beings. Written by was, human it was beings. delivered by God. Same thing. The, the New Testament comes from so the disciples, people were God. Yes. The, the disciples yes. who are human, yes. are, they not bound to, are they not bound to make mistakes? Can they not make mistakes? Even if they make mistakes, it will be clear it was a mistake. It will be right there. Okay. Yeah? I mean... Uh, no, no, I'm, no for, I'm telling you. For example, in the Bible, they, they write different accounts where somebody in the account they mention one person somebody mentions two now somebody be like what but one said it's one one said it's two no it's possible the one who said it's one focus on that one and mention it the one who said it was two was looking at the two and mention it that's what i'm saying about variations when you when you write an account it doesn't have to be the same like i see cameras over there i don't know how many cameras they are see how many cameras? i say oh seven well i'm just guessing you go and count it's nine yeah. I made a mistake, but it's a genuine mistake. I wasn't lying. Yes. It's just my judgment. I said seven. So there could be mistakes in the Bible. Nope. You just contradicted yourself. Huh? <laughs> Thank you, Daniel. Okay. Israelites will return to take down Islam. Islam.